Hi everybody, today we're gonna to be making a line friend. Um, we're gonna make a drawing of a friend. It can be um, part animal, it can be imaginary, um, but we're gonna start with a circle because we wanna make it nice and big. And so our friend is gonna start with shapes. So trace your circle after you put your name and class code on the back of your paper. Um, start with your circle tracer. Trace it kind of towards the top. We're holding our paper in the hot dog up and down portrait direction. Okay, then I think I'm going to add two triangles for ears, big triangles. Okay, and then my imaginary friend is going to have um, antennas like a bug. You do not have to draw the same one I'm drawing. Just make sure you're drawing it nice and big because we're gonna fill it with line patterns soon. Okay, then I'm going to draw two squares for the eyes with an oval inside and a um, reflection dot. Okay, um, and I'm going to do an oval and a reflection dot in the other eye. Okay. Um, make these spaces nice and big though because you're not going to be coloring them in like I'm coloring in the pupils. Um, you of course can color in the pupils on yours as well, um, but we're going to be filling them with different lines. Okay. Um, I'm going to give this um, friend a triangle nose and a double smile shape for the mouth. Okay. Then I'm going to draw a um, kind of trapezoid shape coming out like this for um, the neck and shoulders of my um, friend. And then a big smile line down here, okay? Um, maybe with a little oval for a tummy. Then um, I do want my friend to have arms um, and hands, so two rectangles for my arms. And um, maybe uh, two ovals with other little ovals on the end for the legs and the feet. Then um, for hands, maybe a half an oval and a half an oval, okay? Then I wanna start thinking about my lines. Let's just remember our lines and what they look like and how to draw them. Okay, um, our straight line is just a straight line, just like we were using for drawing. A curved line, I like to think of it as a windy road, okay? Um, a wavy line, um, like waves in the ocean. They don't need to be perfect. Remember in kindergarten, we used to call them shark fins, okay? A zigzag line, I like to think of it as a mountain, followed by a mountain and a mountain. A dotted line, um, just dots. Okay, make them fairly big, okay, so you can see that it's a purposeful dotted line. A spiral line is a loop and a loop and a loop and a loop and a loop. Um, a scallop line, a capital U, a capital U, a capital U, capital U, capital U. And then a dashed line is just little tiny short lines going across like that. Okay, so now is the time to fill your monster, or your monster, fill your friend with lots of different lines. So maybe in this one, I'm doing dashed lines for this shape. Okay, maybe in the tummy, I'm going to play on some curved lines. Okay, maybe in um, this part of the uh, friend, I'm going to do... Um, zigzag lines. Because you want this to be nice and colorful, when you're making your lines, start right away with crayon, okay? Choose a crayon color and um, start putting your lines in using that crayon color so that um, you don't have to trace over it when you're done because you do want it to be super colorful. Um, and then when you're done filling everything with all these different lines, try to use all of your different lines at least once in your front somewhere, okay? Then I want you to um, think about um, the background. Is your friend outside or inside? Um, I'm gonna make mine outside, so I'm gonna draw a horizon line right here. Um, and maybe there's a tree back here. And then, when I'm done filling my um, friend with lines and color, 
I'm gonna add lots of color to the background as well, okay? So um, make it super colorful, super creative. Have fun with your line friends today. Be creative, bye.